Team Terramind at your service with another video discussing everything you need to know in choosing the right subscription in 5 minutes or less. For those of you stuck on the upgrade page unsure of which subscription to move forward with, this one's for you. Clock's ticking, let's get to it. At this stage of the game you've done your research, you've trialed the solution, made a decision between hosting the data in-house or using Terramind's cloud, click the upgrade button and boom, Terramind hits you with its award winning DLP offering. What's DLP? How do the two subscriptions differ? Do I need DLP? These are the questions that are likely going through your mind and will be addressed through the video today. For those of you hearing this term for the first time, DLP simply means data loss prevention. The purpose of a DLP solution is to prevent data breaches or data exfiltration by providing a means of monitoring, alerting, and preventative measures, all of which Terramide is an industry leader in. On paper, the two subscriptions look nearly identical, both providing user activity monitoring, behavior analytics, state-of-the-art forensics, and much more. The core differences lie within the behavioral tab of the Terramind solution. Let's open the dashboard and take a closer look. Once you have the dashboard open, let's take a look at the behavioral tab. This is where you can wield the power of Terramind's policy enforcement engine to create multi-condition policies for immediate alerting on user actions and optionally have Terramind take automated action for you. When creating a policy, one of the first things you'll be prompted with is selecting the rule category. You are given three options here, agent schedule, content, and activity. Agent schedule and activity related policies are offered in both the UAM and the DLP offering, while content related policies are unique to the DLP offering. So what are the key differences between the three? With Agent Schedule, you can set up policies for things like when users start a shift late or depart late, start a shift early or depart early, is absent, idle, shows up during his day off or a non-business day, and total working hours for the day. Activity policies are a bit more expansive and include policies for all monitoring features offered by Terramind, which include limiting or blocking access to websites, applications, email applications including webmail, instant messengers, social media applications, or even printers. You can flag or block keystroke entries, file operations, browser plugins and permissions, networking options, and more. So just to recap, so far we've discussed policies that focus on events that either coincide with the user schedule or are unique to the user's actions, all of which are offered in the UAM subscription. What differentiates the DLP offering from the UAM offering is content-based rules. Now before I go into explaining what exactly is defined as content, let's consider the following unrelated scenario. A car sits in a vacant lot. Comes along a car thief and attempts to steal the car. He opens the car door, the car alarm goes off, he then attempts to hotwire the car. But there are security measures in place preventing the car thief from hotwiring the car. So in what little time he has, before he's spotted, he goes through the car and steals whatever valuables he can find. In an example like this, Terramind's UAM solution would have triggered the alert, the alarm, prevented the car thief from stealing the car, the user action. Now what it could not prevent is the valuables or content from within the car from being stolen. And that's exactly where Terramind's DLP offering steps in. Not only would it prevent the car thief from stealing the car, but also prevent him from stealing the valuables from within the car. With content-based rules, common policies can include preventing data exfiltration through an email, file transfer operation, or instant messenger, OCR picking up on sensitive data on an unauthorized workstation or date and time, which is defined as unusual, clipboard operations for copying and pasting sensitive data, content in an email body, unauthorized access to registry editor, and limiting network access. Now keep in mind, with DLP, the key focus is data defined as sensitive. This can be a variety of things like files that were downloaded from a specific source, files containing meta content and watermarks, content that closely resembles data defined as sensitive, think of plagiarism here, regular expression matches to flag sequences of numbers, or just simple text in the form of an email or instant message. And finally, moving along to the million dollar question, do I need DLP? If you are looking to only manage activities and or focus on employee monitoring and productivity optimization, then Terramind UAM is the right package for you. 
If you also need to create and manage rules as it relates to content and data exfiltration, then you should choose TerraMine DLP. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for you today. I hope this video was helpful in deciding which option is right for you. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button below and tune in for more influential videos from Team TerraMind.